Count yourself blessed. If you are still here and you have your family members still here, nobody passed away, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to knock on wood, but I'm just going to give God his praise and honor that he deserves for keeping us. What's up, my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love, and welcome back to my channel. And I am going to show y'all something. I'll tell y'all why we been stuck in the house for two days. Ain't been to the gym. Yeah. Let's just look outside here and you'll see why. You'll see why. Look at my car. Car has not been moved since Sunday. Neither has the kids. Yeah. So Michigan been doing its thing, honey. Michigan been been tripping. Yeah. So that's the reason why we've been here, not at the gym. You have not been seeing any workouts, but however, ain't nobody cheating. We still on these meal preps, baby. Yeah, still meal prepping. Also, even though we didn't get to get out and go this morning, uh, I'm getting out of here. I'm moving, I'm coming up out that, that hole out there. I can't sit still for too long. The kids have been going to the gym. Me, on the other hand, I have, uh, this all on my face, hold on. I've been in the crib because when it's cold out like that, I'm not taking no chances on slipping and falling. That's probably one of my fears I'm gonna have to get over because I had went through two years, y'all know, of an uh, injury with my knee and being fractured. No, so I've been in here doing what I do, but following meal preps and, and all and conversing back and forth with the trainer. So this is Tina prepping her meal. I feel like a cat. <laughs> she said she feel like a cat. A boiled egg ain't never tasted so good to me. <laughs> this is really all you can eat. <laughs> a boiled egg so good, y'all. I worry about the cholesterol though. That was crossing my mind. I was looking on uh, YouTube last night and um, there was some things on there like healthy eating videos and foods that you may eat to help you gain weight fast and what they had in their thumbnail was some bananas and some boiled eggs whole boiled eggs and so that started to you know worry me and make me think like really hmm so i kind of don't want to be doubling it up on no eggs or you know stuff like that um i'll probably do more broccoli it's got fiber in it i keep moving this y'all forgive me i'm trying to get it placed somebody mentioned something in my comment about that mop bucket in the back see that mop bucket i had that mop bucket since 2007 and i got it off craigslist for five bucks and i went to this manufacturer warehouse where it was and i'm telling y'all that that that's a lifesaver right there okay you know all the, see all these floors this big floor i got in here it really helps i tried the swiffer <laughs> No, I don't get your floor clean. It's a challenge. It's very hard. I'm not going to say this easy, y'all. You're talking to a person that when I'm hungry and I got a taste for something, I'm going to go get it. I don't care what time or night, as long as it wasn't, you know, if they was open, I was going to take that chance. But I goes and get things when, when I, if I'm craving something I'm having like if I want a seafood boil bag I'm gonna I'm gonna go get it you know and to be able to know that you can have access to and these restaurants back open too because it's doggone the governor open back at the restaurant so man this has really been challenging for me really challenging and, and I loved it. I love it though, it's discipline. It's discipline to have a small tray in front of you and say, this is what you're eating and 
this is what you're gonna have maybe three hours later and then your cutoff is at eight o'clock and drink some water. Everybody know our fiends for Diet Coke. It's very, very hard. Um, I'm not gonna say that I ain't maybe slipped a couple times and at least got me a Diet Coke because the way we eat, it have been uh, back and off, you know, um, limited to, you know, just these meal preps or whatever. A Diet Coke is like a treat. It's like a cheat day or something. So on a weekend, I may have a Diet Coke. Reba's going to see this. I'm very sorry. <laughs> but I'm not making it a habit, you know. Um, I still get my gallon of water in or whatever. I know she said sparkle water. This sparkle water that I had bought by ice, sparkling ice, I had got that coconut pineapple. Man, it, it's life. It tastes like pineapple pop. But it makes me feel like I'm cheating. I'll be like, I know y'all said this is good. It's sparkling water, ain't no calories, no carbs, no um, type of um, fat in it, no sugars. And I'm drinking it like, and no sodium. And I'm drinking it like, oh, what the heck is this then? You know, it tastes so good. Like, sure, ain't nothing in here. So sometimes I don't trust packages and things that, you know. But only reason why I was kind of leaning about that Diet Coke, cause not my trainer, but my nutritionist was talking to me one day and was like, there's nothing, there's absolutely nothing wrong with Diet Coke. It doesn't have any sugars in it. You're good, you know, so. I'm still hearing her voice, y'all. That's why I'm. And, uh, and so every now and then, um, like I said, on the weekend, I may get a diet coat. Just being transparent and honest. I'll keep, you know. I'm just saying because I, I, there's people that when I drive through uh, <laughs> the uh, McDonald's line, because that's where I get my diet coat, y'all. Large one for a dollar, okay. Um, you know, some of them know me. And uh, I don't I don't want nobody to, you know, pull some footage up on me, you know. That's why I always be transparent as possible. I know. Because I don't want nobody to pull no footage up on me and was like, you know, she be saying she's sticking to stuff and, you know, people petty, you know. And I, I got a picture of her getting a Diet Coke or, you know, watching, you know, I, I stand her over here at this restaurant. Not gonna happen. So, <laughs> so I'm, that's why I'm sticking do these meal preps and doing the best that I could do as far as walking this chalk line because the simple fact that um, it's discipline, it's structure and um, it's not just cutting back on food. This is not just a diet you are. This is a, a change of life. This is very, very difficult but it can be done. And I'm gonna say it's difficult because on my end, because of the way, like I said, I'm used to eating. I think I used, I, I started eating like that when I started pigging out back in the day. It come from um, discipline at home when I was younger. And um, I believe that the weight that I've gained also is, uh, I talked about it, you know, from relationships, but also, you know, I believe my weight gain come from rebelliousness because my father, my father used to always watch my weight and um, he used to tell me, Reva, don't get big. You're a beautiful girl, I don't, I don't want you fat. I see women fat, I see young girls fat, I don't want my daughter fat. And I, at the time I thought my, my dad was being so, you know, petty and like, oh my God, I mean, if I'm hungry, don't say you are hungry. If you already ate eating dinner that night and you'd be like, hey, I'm hungry, don't let my dad hear you. It was, go to bed. You know, man, I thought he was so strict for that, but man, it's just now I, I kind of, not kind of, I see what he was talking about. And a lot of my weight gain comes from being, you know, I was in a very structured, disciplined, um, what's the other word? Sheltered home growing up. And um, we couldn't do any and everything we wanted to do. and. It came from that also. Because when I got older, I said, I'm eating what I want to eat when I want to eat it. And now that's where it came from. 
I'm not blaming my dad. No, am I blaming my parents? No, I'm not. I'm just saying that's, I think that's where my habits I picked up, you know, like it was a cutoff time at our house and you just couldn't, you know, you couldn't eat like that. It was just unacceptable. You're not going to do that. And mom cooked, you had to eat what mom cooked, you know, and that was it. I'm sure all the ones that are around my age or older, y'all relate to that. Um, whatever being cooked, that's what you're eating that day. That's it. Put the clean up, put the food away. That's it. You may get a snack. You may get one. Yeah, my mom baked the cake. <laughs> I'm laughing. Um, she would, you know, cut you a nice little slice, you know, a little thin slice and, and maybe a half a cup of milk and that's your snack. That's it. But they used to get on me because they would say I, I was the one who took off big chunks of the cake when they woke up. The cake would be half gone. It was like Reba did it. <laughs> it wasn't always me, you know. And it's so funny because when I when I come together with my my parents, they always bring that up. And I used to, I, I I'd be like that. I, I I promise you, I wasn't the only one eating on that cake, you know. My brother Junior, <laughs> he was eating on it too, but he was you know he was he was riding off of me, you know. They gonna blame Reba so. So it just wasn't on me all the time, off that cake, eating off the cake. But like I said, I believe that's where the overeating habit came from as well as being structured and sheltered and, you know, disciplined on, you know, part of my growing up and upcoming raising me not to, you know, eat like that, you know. Just like my mother expected, you know, the house to be clean every single day. My house is clean, you all. My house is always clean, but there is a but. When my dishes pile up, like they are now, I know I'm going to get them. But the fact that I can get them when I want to. I'll clean my room when I get ready to. That is the joy of having your own place. And a lot of that comes from that too. Um, you know, don't have nothing out of place now i find a lot of my ways of my mother in me because i be letting tina and terrell have it about my house okay your house is supposed to look like a magazine that's the way i like it i like everything to be in place and i like it to smell good so when company come over or you got unexpected guests that pop up on you you like yeah come on in you know um but yeah i don't always keep this house clean i, I have days where i don't feel like it you know, and I do it my, you know, whenever I feel like I'll get up, I'm like, all right, that's enough is enough. But the joy of cleaning it up when you get ready to it versus when you was at home with your parents and it was get it done, get it now. Yeah. So a lot of that comes from a structured home. And I thank God for that because I ain't out here buck wild and, you know, out in the streets and stuff like that. I thank God the way I was raised, you know, I don't regret it. Um, we all have issues and problems coming up as kids, but I don't regret the way I was raised. I thank God my parents raised me and brought me up in church. I know the Lord because of my parents. Um, I'm just thankful. So ah, I got all off into that, but um, yeah, y'all, I'm just basically I'm getting out this house today while it's still sunny outside. I believe it's going to melt the snow. It looks pretty good. The streets look clear. I'm getting out. The kids probably getting out. So yeah um go ahead and end this video and i will see you in the gym tomorrow reba if you're watching lord willing tina terrell been on the treadmill at the gym here i have not I'm being honest like i said the bones so hey I, I ain't trying to slip but however i may be on tonight and um i'll let you know so peace out in jesus name be blessed